presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to do the absolute basics with layers in Pro Presenter. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that's confusing to people that come to ProPresenter from PowerPoint, Keynote, or even other worship software is the metaphor of layers in ProPresenter. And so I wanted to go through kind of the most basics that I could come up with to maybe make that a little bit clearer. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look at just that. So here we are. First off, there's a little too much me here. So let me change to a, a different layout there. Okay. So with layers, I want you to imagine that there are really two layers that you're going to deal with most of the time. Vast majority of the time, it's only going to be these two layers. That's the slides layer. And that's the backgrounds layer, or we call it the media layer. So the slides layer is on top, so you look through it to the background layer below. Since they're independent, you can change them at any time independently. So let's head over to uh, a song. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this one. And you'll notice that we've got this uh, kind of black and gray check pattern. That is just an indication that the background here that you see, that black and gray check pattern, that's transparent. So think of this kind of like the overhead transparencies that they had in the 90s and before. That's exactly what we're dealing with here is we have a transparent background with text over top of it. So it's just like an overhead transparency. So when I click on one, it shows up. Um, I'm actually doing some things to change the formatting, but it shows up when I click on one, then I click on another and it shows up. Now, here in the preview of the output, you'll, you'll notice down here on the picture of me, it's more similar to what it's looking like there. Um, so here, that background appears to be black, but that's just because there's nothing underneath it. So think of this, that is where it's different from an overhead projector. The overhead projector, the background was white, unless you did something to it. The background of a projector or uh, a television or whatever, unless you do something to it, is going to be black. So, that's lesson number one, that each of these is like its own overhead transparency, just a transparent piece of plastic or glass with the words on it. Now, you could put a picture on there. You could do other things like that, but just in general, most of the time, you're going to want to just have words on this layer. Underneath that layer, you probably want a background. Unless you want just black, then ignore everything I'm about to say. But I bet it's about to change. So, if you want a background, then down here in the media bin, we have the background. Notice how the words are on top of the backgrounds in the media bin. So we have the words, when we show them, will be um, on top of the backgrounds in the media bin. So if I click on this background, and let's actually change to a different screen, you'll see that that's there. And um, actually, let me real quick I realized that I had some, a mistake here that I've made. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that that 
was set and you're looking at me through this so I'm going to get rid of that. So I can change the background at any time and I can change the slides at any time and I can change those independently. So if I decide I don't like this, which quite frankly I don't like it, but it's one of the ones that came with ProPresenter and I prefer that one, I can change that. Notice how the text did not change. That's because they're independent. So that is kind of the basics of backgrounds and slides in ProPresenter. Now it could be that you need to do additional things and Maybe you need the announcements layer that's on top of the slides layer. Maybe you need the props and messages layers that's on top of that, etc. But remember, the way that this works is each of these is independent from one another and can be changed independently. So that's where the power of ProPresenter comes in. And just as you saw up here, when we go into edit looks, I can enable or disable each layer. So we were only dealing with the slides layer down here and the media layer further down. But underneath that, there's the video layer and I can enable or disable it. Enable is checked, disable is unchecked. So on this output, it is disabled but on this output and this output, it is enabled. So you really have a lot of power there. And in case you forget where the layer order is, look over here because we've got the uh, video input layer. Then we have the media layer. That's where backgrounds normally live. Foregrounds also live there, but that's a different lesson. Um, here we have the slides layer, again the announcement layer above that, the props layer, uh, the messages layer. These are actually two uh, names for the same layer, but different functions in that layer. So that's why they split those out. And then audio layer, it's an audio only layer. So they could have put that down below. They could have put it smack dab in the middle. So that really doesn't matter all that much. So notice how if I click this, it will clear the uh, words down here. So that is just some of the basics of layers in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you would like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. And uh, while it's normally $29, I could give it to you for free if you want it. So if you do, head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick and uh, you can sign up for it for free over there. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.